Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Yusa is adorable. <laughs> ah! Sunstreaker's kind of a dick. Maximus back with another retro review and today we're gonna rewind it all the way back to 1984 no no we're not it's 2018 and this is the Walmart exclusive vintage G1 reissue series Bumblebee now I found this at my local Walmart over Christmas break and they had all of the mini bots actually but Bumblebee was really the only one I was interested in mainly because he's got a new G1 face on him which is very very cool so I went ahead and snapped him up. I am in love with this old school artwork box set. It looks just like the cards back from when I was a kid in 1984. It's got the Transformers logo right there looking very cool. Got the artwork. I love the grid and the fade, the yellow and the black, all that kind of stuff. And it's got the old school Hasbro logo, Autobot Bumblebee. And he's got the new G1 face, which is very, very cool. And it looks like he's got some new paint. Uh, he's got some taillights and the headlamps. Um, I remember those being stickers and always falling off as a kid, so it's kind of nice to have them painted on. Back of uh, the card right here has the original artwork, which I love. The transformation steps right there, and then we get the bio card and the little metrics sheet. And I love how they added the Generations logo as a little cutout, kind of an homage to the old school uh, Transformers. So here's the artwork. I love this. I had this as a TV tray as a kid and a lunchbox. Uh, yeah, there's the instructions. Here's the uh, bio, if I can get this on here. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And then here's this little tech spec readout that you need the little red piece of plastic uh, to look at, kind of. But yeah, definitely very, very cool. I absolutely love this card. The only problem is I have to destroy it to get Bumblebee out and that kind of makes me sad. And on the wall because I absolutely love this look. So let's go ahead and get Bumblebee out of box and see what we think. So here we have Bumblebee out of the package and I gotta say this thing has some very tight joints on it. The Bumblebee toy I had as a kid had pretty loose joints and even the reissue figure that I'd gotten uh, years ago that was on the keychain uh, back from a comic book store, um, it had relatively loose joints. This thing has severely stiff joints almost to the point where I feel like it's gonna break at times. So be aware of that. Now this time around, uh, Bumblebee's got a new paint deco. He's got the silver bumpers, the silver um, paint on uh, the headlights, which is nice. He's got tail lights, and then he's got an all new G1 head sculpt that looks like the old school cartoon, which I really, really do dig. I'm guessing this is what the Takara version looked like back in the day. I don't know, I never had one. I just had the old school Bumblebee that had the uh, black bumpers and no paint, except for the windows. That was the only paint that had on it. And then, of course, it had the old-school style mask of Bumblebee head. And I kind of wish that they would have been able to uh, switch the heads out for this version. I think that would have been fun, but it definitely would have jacked the price point above, like, 780 Now, as far as articulation goes on this guy, it's very simple. This is a G1 toy. His arms move up and down. His head does move up and down, but that's for transformation. Um, he has nothing in the waist rotation. His uh, feet do move up and down, but again, that's well, for transformation. Uh, and that's really about it as far as the articulation goes on this little guy. I mean, it's a G1 toy. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, this is classic G1, but he's got this nice cartoon style head, which is an all new sculpt for this figure. I really like it, it's got the blue eyes, it looks like Bumblebee, we got the tail lights there, love the Autobot logo on there, uh, very cool. He's got the pull out arms with the rubber tires, which is very nice. He's got the molded in, what I presume is a spare tire on his back. 
And then there's the sticker on the back of his head that hides the screw bolt that I'm presuming is supposed to be a spare as well. I never really understood that as a kid because it's like yellow and red and just looks kind of funny. But the big draw to this figure for me, aside it being Bumblebee, was having finally the cartoon head on the G1 toy and that's just absolutely brilliant. And finally, taking a look at the lower half of the figure. Of course, his feet are the front part of the Volkswagen, as it should be. I really do like the paint, the silver on the bumper, the headlights look nice. Everything else is pretty much just black. Um, I will say he's always been a little difficult to stand up on these feet. Uh, he's almost top heavy and he kind of wants to fall back on occasion, especially if those joints get loose. The old school toy was very, very bad about that. Um, everything else really just kind of there and it's black plastic. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with the classic G1B. For comparison, here we have the G1 Bumblebee next to the Transformers Reveal the Shield Bumblebee and the Transformers United Goldbug. And as you can see, he is like literally half their height. He is very, very tiny because, well, he was a mini-bot. But it's definitely cool to see the evolution of Bumblebee from what we had back into the day up until here recently. And even though I really like these figures, especially the Goldbug figure right here, I gotta say, I will always have a special place in my heart for this G1 guy because he was one of the very first Transformers I had as a kid. Now, transformation on this little guy is very, very simple. Um, just kind of to uh, show it off really quick, uh, you basically fold the head in. You're going to uh, push the arms in like that. Um, and then you're going to rotate these pieces down, push them up like this, and then flip up the wheels. And, well, there we go. It's Bumblebee. It's a very over-exaggerated Volkswagen Beetle of the 80s, uh, but it's definitely very cool. It rolls wonderfully. It's got little rubber wheels. Definitely dig that. Uh, just kind of a close-up. Uh, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Love the new paint on it. It's got the little Autobot sticker right there. Uh, the taillights are amazing. I absolutely love the look of this figure. I think they did a great job with it. And just to compare the original G1 toy to the new Bumblebee movie, Volkswagen Bug, that takes place in the same era, um, absolutely two completely different uh, figures. Um, the little G1 toy is very cartoony versus uh, the one we get from the Bumblebee movie studio series here is a, a very realistic interpretation of a Volkswagen Beetle. But uh, yeah, overall, I think they're kind of fun to see next to each other up on the shelf. So is the Walmart exclusive G1 reissue Bumblebee Minibot something that you want in your Transformers collection? If you are an old school G1 fan and you don't have an old Bumblebee, this is definitely something to pick up. Um, if you're looking for an original G1 style Bumblebee with the classic cartoon face, this is definitely something I think you're going to like. Um, if you like the Takara stuff, you're going to like this. It's got a little bit more paint apps than the Minibots had back in the day, or even the Hasbro reissues that we got uh, that were keychains. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with this figure. Um, it's you know, it satisfies my G1 itch. Uh, I love the cartoon face on it, and it's probably at the best price point of all these G1 reissues. So there he is, Bumblebee from the G1. Walmart exclusive reissue. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.